Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 27th, 2023. Well, yesterday, we still had those bears pushing here in the market, just couldn't get anything going after our economic data came in hotter than expected. And that brought those sellers back in, pushing us lower. We are still very oversold in the market and last night we had some good earnings out of intel out of microsoft that are giving us a little bit of a hope that a re relief rally could begin here on friday assuming some of the economic data that we have coming out doesn't turn us back south um, overnight we had asian markets for the first time this week Asian markets were green across the board, uh, pushing back up in a little bit of relief, so that helps out. European markets this morning are mostly bullish, a little bit mixed, but mostly bullish at the moment. Bonds this morning are holding in there, but not, um, not really pushing to the upside. We've got the 30-year bond at at 5.01 percent two-year bonds are at 5.04 uh, the 10 years are at 4.86 so we've had a little bit of easing here and there on those um, we might be softening up there just a little tiny bit um, we see oil prices this morning unfortunately are going back up as the conflict um, in um, israel um, gets worse, United States actually making preemptive strikes in Iran in retaliation for attacks on US forces. So things, um, the tensions there are getting um, higher and um, obviously that could have ramifications heading into the weekend as well with everyone just worried about that and wanting to protect capital just kind of staying out of the market. So. What does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's try to shake off any bias and see if we can take a look at these charts without that and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, let's take a look here at our diamonds chart. As you can see, we've got, uh, well, obviously yesterday we broke that support and um, I had put the next support down here in this area and we were certainly headed that direction, excuse me, certainly headed in that direction. Um, but this morning we're trying to bounce just a little bit. So if those bulls can find enough inspiration in the data today, then maybe we can push back through that resistance area in the chart, push back up, and um, maybe even start to see if we can test some of these little resistance areas in the chart a little bit higher here on the day. Now, if we could trigger some kind of a short squeeze with some really good data today, then that might have that opportunity to really extend this up because we um, are so oversold in the short term. Um, this trend right here, as you can see what we're doing is we're just increasing these trends to the downside in a very steep way. And when we plunge that steeply, oftentimes we can get that big reversal back to the upside. That doesn't mean that we're gonna zoom all the way back to the top here. It just means that we could get a nice little relief rally forcing some of the short traders out. Now, if those bears continue to find inspiration, you can see it really wouldn't be all that much work for the bears to push us down into here with that uncertainty going into the weekend with the Israel-Gaza war, um, what's going on in the Ukraine, um, all of these issues, 
boiling out there politically, uh, you know, potential government shutdown, uh, you know, around the corner, all those things, um, there's plenty for the market to be worried about. So watch carefully there. Now, if we look at our moving averages here in the chart, um, obviously we're very, very bearish and a rally back up does seem like a likely thing to be um, uh, in, in, in the cards for expectation. But if we push back up, we're going to notice that we're going to be running into some tremendous price resistance areas here in the chart, uh, as well as those downtrends. So remember, um, although I'm kind of pitching for the idea that we get a little bit of relief, that's not to say that we're just going to tear this thing up back to the upside. As a matter of fact, I don't see that happening. I see us rallying back to resistance, getting a little relief, and then we'll see if we can rest, consolidate there, or even push back lower um, before um, we get any kind of uh, upside opportunity, particularly if the um, Israeli war continues to expand. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Also very, very bearish yesterday. I had mentioned that if this continues to fall, this would be our next level of price support. We didn't quite make it there yesterday, but boy, we're, we were sure reaching out for that. And I had also mentioned, you know, we might find some support in there, which we sliced right through um, yesterday on that selling. Now, and that was largely due to the big tech giants that were selling off strongly yesterday. And with Amazon's report, maybe that'll finally help and give us a little bit of relief on that side and we're bouncing up here this morning trying to push back a little bit on that selling yesterday so if the bulls can maintain that bullishness let's look for um, a hold at a minimum see if we can hold above this area and if that does happen if we can see a little bit more bu uh, bullishness here in the market well maybe we start reaching up here and testing some of these recent down uh, areas of the market. Now that would be a huge move to the upside. So don't, don't expect we make that all in one fell swoop. And if the bears were to find um, that inspiration, well remember, we can still push down right into this area here of the chart. I'm going to slide that up just a tiny bit more. We can push uh, this right on down to test these resistance or support levels. And uh, there's no reason that we can't move even lower. So keep that in mind. On the technical side of things, you can see we have broken down um, solidly through the 200 day moving average. We have lost uh, the 500 day moving average. So any rally back, you'll want to note we're going to run into some not only some significant price resistance but technical resistance as well in the chart as we bounce back um, if we bounce back let's take a look at our qqq qqq also very very bearish and i made uh, mention yesterday that possibility that we could seek the 200 day moving average we haven't quite made it there yet yet so we still run that potential risk here in the market that if we find more bearishness today in the data that we could easily see that 200 day moving average tested and if it's not tested today um, it still might get that test next week so you'll want to keep that in mind here on the qqq um, if we take a look at um, what might happen if the bulls uh, find inspiration notice we have bounced right back up above this area here in the chart that I'd marked as a um, support level break yesterday and we broke that down and uh, bouncing back up here. So if we can get some good bullish data here today and get some motivation to the market, well, you could see we could maybe cross up into here, break that uh, test uh, yesterday's um, lows here in the market, and then maybe even push up into this level of the chart. We'll have to watch that. That would take a pretty significant short squeeze to do that, but it is possible. If the bears were to continue to find inspiration, well, you can see we could easily re-break this support level, maybe down here testing the low of yesterday and then right down into here, testing that 200 day moving average in the chart. Let's take a look at our IWM. IWM is the most bearish of the indexes by far, and I had suggested that 
we might come down into this level and test it that and boy we we sought that out really quickly and we tested it again yesterday but the good news is we held here and IWM was the only index that managed to hold a little bit of 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 gain here so if watching this from this very oversold condition if we can find a little bit of bullish inspiration in the chart let's start looking for some of these levels up in here where we might move to first off we probably want to test these high these wicks on the last couple of days to see whether or not we can pop through there and if we can maybe we're starting to move up into areas up in here midway in that chart and maybe even just a little bit higher if those bulls can find inspiration if the bears come in attack on the data well you can see the next level lower here that i've got marked and that would be a pretty darn painful move if we start dropping into areas like that of the chart and totally giving up even all of last year's lows so watch that carefully here in the russell our technicals here are abysmal um ugly 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 50s down through the 200 um, we've got um, all of those moving averages stretching out now one thing i would say is when they're stretched out like this we're oversold so a bounce we should be watching for the possibility of a bounce as long as the data doesn't continue to pile on and boy i sure wouldn't place any bets that it it could easily pile on um, from the news that we're seeing um, uh, in the middle east from the data that we've been seeing lately so just kind of keep that in mind let's take a look at our um vix our vix also um, popped up yesterday but by the end of the day we started to ease up on that just a little bit so you can see our VIX resting up here on this little support area of the chart fortunately we're still holding this upside trend so if if the um, bulls were to find that inspiration today and we're getting those little hints that maybe we can get a little bit of of uh, upside uh, going here then that possibility we could pull back into here maybe even test that trend as some support if the bears find inspiration of course holding up here it's not hard to see if the bears were to really get something in data to to push us through we might break these highs recent highs that we've seen here in um, the VIX and maybe even start moving up to some of these next resistance levels in the chart um, and that's where some real panic could come into play in the market I think we need a little bit of relief before that occurs but you know data can definitely drive that narrative pretty quickly let's take a look at our T2122. T2122 is showing us that we are in our bearish reversal zone. And even though um, Diamond Spy, QQQ were all down yesterday, notice we had a little bit of lift in here. So there was a little bit of an underlying upside move. You know, the same thing that we have been seeing in the market here recently is the Magnificent Seven that are not so magnificent at the moment. But the Magnificent Seven has been able to lift the market all on their own. They have been able, when, when the majority of the market was going down, they were able to hold the indexes up by themselves because of their massive size. Well, we saw the opposite of that yesterday. We saw a lot of stocks trying to rally up but those magnificent seven were continuing to find sellers and driving lower and that actually made um, the market close lower on the day even though we did have that hint of a lot of stocks trying to rebound here in the market so um, as bad as it was yesterday t2122 is showing us that maybe things are relieving just a little bit and if we can get those big techs to find a relief day then maybe we start moving this uh, to the upside and relieve some of that selling pressure in the market and maybe squeeze out some of those short trades um, so we certainly have upside opportunity if we find inspiration in the data today and unfortunately we have opened up a downside opportunity if that data comes out bearish or if we get really worried about what um,
events over in the Middle East. Let's take a look at T2108. Now our T2108 also showed us that little tiny bit of hope that maybe we were finding a, some support here in the market. Notice that we had pushed down um, earlier in the day. As a matter of fact, we had made a new low, but by the end of the day, we kind of flattened out here. So 17.5% of the stocks is a pretty tough case to build. You know, that's that's not so bullish, but it it is a case that we can build that we're oversold. And if we can find some kind of inspiration in the market, maybe we can start pressing this to the upside. You can see we've got some price support levels in here that we've ended up holding. So maybe starting to see some silver lining out there. Now, as we rally, don't expect this to just rip to the upside and, and just sail all the way back to the top. We're gonna to be struggling here for a while um, with all these uncertainties. So any rally back to these resistance levels in the chart, we'll wanna be watching close. Our T2107, uh, um, it made new lows yesterday and was really stretching to the downside. And then by the end of the day, since we had that little tiny bit of bullishness come in here on the Russell, um, that helped just a little bit. And you can see we kind of flattened this out and maybe shows that little opportunity that this could hook and turn back to the upside. Now, that being said, if we find some bearishness in the market, you can see we're, we're sitting right here on a little bit of a price support, but you can also notice that there are certainly more levels down there that we can be drawn into if the bears find inspiration. But if the bulls find inspiration, let's see if we can at a minimum start pushing back up and maybe testing this downtrend as a resistance in the chart. And you'll notice there are quite a few price resistance levels out here as we rally. So there's no blue sky here um, or, or big potential rally that I'm expecting that's just gonna change everything overnight. So just watch that carefully. Our T2101, T2101, unfortunately, we saw the breadth increase again uh, breaking that downtrend here on the sell wave. So the energy in the market has been to the, um, to the you know, showing the breadth here um, to the downside. So that's where the energy has been. But if you'll notice right in here yesterday, if I zoom that up a little bit, we got a little hook up here. That little hook is suggesting yesterday that we may have a bit of a shift. So as long as the data doesn't pile on, maybe we can see um, that selling pressure kind of back off a little bit. Um, I can't guarantee that by any stretch of the imagination, but that is that little tiny hope that that hook up there showing us that um, that energy to the downside may be dying off just a little bit. So um, careful there. What we want to see, we want to see on the bullish wave that we continue to extend that breadth. Um, I'm guessing if we do get an upside relief, we might be seeing that breadth pull back actually, because there could be an awful lot of folks that's just going to put their hands in their pockets and say, you know what, with all this uncertainty going into this weekend, um, I'm just not going to be a buyer. And so we could kind of fizzle um, as well here on the buy side um, for any relief just because of that uncertainty. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, the big data that we've got to worry about here today is personal incomes and outlays. Now that personal incomes and outlays number is the Fed's favorite number and actually their very favorite number is going to be this one right here. Consensus is suggesting that the core PCE number is going to decline from 3.9 to 3.7%. If we see that, if that does occur, I would expect that the market would find some relief in it. Unfortunately, with the numbers that we saw yesterday with the high consumer spending and all of the things that we saw in GDP, we really do run the potential that these numbers up here could miss substantially to the upside and that could be a problem here um, as well. So could be a mix of data if this number happens to miss and happens to go higher 
than what we saw last time. Um, all bets are off. I think the Bears are going to have all the energy they need if that were to occur to keep pushing to the downside. So watch those numbers carefully this morning. That could be very, very important for the day. Uh, keep in mind, we've got bar speaking after that, and then we've got consumer sentiment. That could be a key number today as well to kind of find out, measure where the consumers or how they're feeling here um, overall in the market. So watch that close. Baker Hughes Orange grid count, which I don't think will matter. Um, as we look at our earnings, today I'm not doing a blog. Today is a no blog Friday. So um, I'll give you a few of these earnings for today that are notable, but a bit much less here today. We've got um, Auto, Auto Nation that will be uh, reporting. Keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from Colgate Palmolive here today, um, Exxon Mobil. We'll be reporting um, Phillips 66 will be um, on the list today. We're going to hear from Piper SWK will be reporting. So um, keep an eye on those um, stocks. And I'm just going to uh, move my list right over here. And you can take a quick screenshot of that pause the video, take a screenshot. Those are the notables for today since there is no blog. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that uh, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to grow. And as I've said multiple times before, even an emoji um, helps out. And I know it gets monotonous doing this day after day, but I do appreciate the, the kind support uh, of the effort that it does take to put these out and do the research and get everything together every single morning. So thank you so much, everyone, who does take the time to do that. Let's take a peek at um, some of the stocks that yeah, might be setting up. Um, but, but remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You've got to do your own due diligence. Make sure you're following your rules, your tolerance for risk. And just remember, this is a very dangerous market. One of the better things that you could do maybe at this point in time is just protect your capital rather than throw money at risk when we have so much potential that we could still see downside moves in the market. So that being said, let's take a look at a few things here. As you guys know, I've been mentioning Dollar General. Um, some of the um, small retail, discount retailers, really been showing some bullishness here. Dollar General, looking good, pushing up. Now, I'd watch this here. We, we may be running into some resistance here soon, but watch that carefully. Any rest, consolidation, or pullback may set up that next opportunity to the upside. So keep an eye on Dollar General. You can also, uh, take a look at um, like stocks like Five Below. Five Below has been moving up nicely in a trend. Yesterday it decided to take a little bit of a rest, but as long as we can hold on to support and, and trend in air, I think we're probably still okay. I'd look for that next opportunity though for that to move on up and um, just keep an eye on some of those. And, and we've got, there's quite a few in that area. Now, bigger retailers um, are starting to show that bullishness as well. Uh, Walmart, boy, after selling off strongly here, just zoomed back up, um, not feeling any uh, bearishness here in this chart at the moment. A little bit of pullback the last couple of days after breaking back through this resistance in the chart. But if this can hold as support, we can hold that trend. Look for that next opportunity maybe to move on up and maybe we can start challenging these highs here in the market on Walmart. And one of the reasons we might get a little bit of lift or rally in here is just right there. Um, earnings coming in on the 16th of next month. So watch that closely. We could rally toward that earnings event, particularly if we can get a little bit of levity in the market. Um, also saw a target 
Target trying to make some moves here. Target trying to find some higher lows move up here in this chart. So keep an eye on that. I was looking at uh, like Under Armour, Under Armour making some nice moves. This one I like particularly in the, in the sense that it, we've broken that downtrend here in the chart. Um, this trend is out here. If this is the new trend, that's a little bit steep. So don't be too surprised if we have to rest in here just a little bit more before that takes off to the upside. But I'd keep an eye on um, Under Armour, UAA and UA. Both um, might be of interest here uh, to be paid attention to, keeping in mind um, they're going to report on the 8th. So watch carefully for that. Take a look at um, some of the stocks here that are just big dividend payers. Um, we might see a little bit of a rush uh, now, a protection type play in here to some of these a uh, little bit more defensive sector type um, stocks that pay you know solid dividend yields take a look at AT&T it made that move pushed up here holding some support in that chart I don't know where that trend is going to begin but watch that carefully where it does there may be some upside opportunity and we saw some good moves in Verizon after their earnings report yesterday, um, not, or not yesterday, um, earlier this week, pushed us up substantially. And you can see pushing up in through some um, resistance. A hold up here, notice that this could be a downtrend break. A hold up here could be that next opportunity to the upside there in Verizon. So keep a close eye on that. You might also want to keep an eye on some of these defensive sector, um, just old staples, um, boring companies, but um, companies that um, we're going to need even in uh, bad times of the market, even if a recession is uh, coming um, here in the market. Uh, we're going to need these companies and they're good dividend payers so keep an eye on things like cpb we're trying to pop up here any rest that holds a higher low sets up that next opportunity to the upside um, in the chart and there's quite a few of those out there now let's take a look at the precious metals market um, gld oh my goodness gld has been really strong now i would expect if the market starts to come up if we get a relief that we would probably see a pullback um, happen in some of the precious metals but one of the things that we may need to make note of is we've broken this downtrend and we are staying very very strong and the uh, Middle Eastern war situation seems to have inspired a rush to some safety um, in currency and um, as you can see, gold um, is being a, a really strong benefit of that. So watch that closely here. We also have um, silver um, showing those bullish tendencies here as well. Uh, pulling back here the last few days, but we're holding on to support. There's that downtrend break. Keep a close eye on that. If we continue to see the Middle Eastern fear coming up, watch these there may be um, more of that upside coming in silver and gold keep a close eye on those um, that, that those could be significantly interesting um, overall and then look at some of the miners out there this is the um, um, the 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 majors um, here in that sector breaking that downtrend that possible higher low a hold of support you can see that inverted head and shoulders pattern that may be forming in here. So keep an eye on some of those. And then even the junior miners um, um, also. And then you obviously you can just pick individual names. If I jump um, you know, to, the, to the names that make up um, this, there's a lot of these stocks trying to show bottoming patterns, higher lows, things like that. So start um, looking at those individual plays. Those are also starting to come around. So keep an eye on that. So I'm running this video a little bit long. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for listening this morning. I do appreciate it. Thanks so much for the support. Um, I hope you have a wonderful Friday and a fantastic weekend. 
and um, trade wisely. Be careful here today. Futures have been slipping since I've been talking. So a little bit of softness here, a little bit of uncertainty as we head toward that PCE number. So be careful today. Y'all take care. Be safe. I'll see you right back here bright and early next week, Monday morning. Take care. Everyone.